And today started out like every other day at home. My wife cooked me breakfast, two eggs over medium, sausage patties, a hash brown, and some oat toast with a cup of black coffee. And then I will also have a glass of milk with my breakfast. And I am good to go for it. And I just never get work. tired of this meal. I love breakfast. Always uh, look forward to that. So heading out to the field about 8 o'clock here to kick off another harvest vlog for the hey day. Hey everyone, uh, Tuesday morning, October 16th, 2018. Out here for another day of corn harvest. Uh, we got everything filled up last night. So all the trucks are full, uh, grain carts full, combines full. Got down to 31 last night, so we got frost. You can kind of see some of it left here. So uh, I think this is the second frost of the year. I wasn't home for the first one, but uh, yeah, got down to 31. Looks like a good killing frost here. So let the dew get off. We got the combine filled up. Uh, got a low tire on the grain cart and we should be in business. Okay, so it is about 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and we are getting started. Still a little bit of dew, most of the frost is gone, but this corn is going down in places. So, I don't know if just this one stretch here had some wind go through. I can see it from the road. Uh, as I get farther back here, it looks better. But anyways, we're going, so stay tuned to get you some good footage, and hopefully I can get a break here and pop the drone up. Uh, later on today okay he is full and we're just a little more than halfway through the field here these are uh, these rows are road to road so one mile so as you can see he's just cutting over he's gonna get eight rows off over here and then I can pull up beside him and unload but it's gonna be tight And things always have a way of working out, so I was able to get a little bit of uh, drone footage for you. 
and anyhow this field right here especially these rows that were one mile long this kept me hopping in the grain cart today really hopping this corn was around 16 percent moisture i wasn't running the combine i forgot to ask what it was yielding but uh, this was really good corn and there was a few spots that had some wind damage mostly on the south end of the field but uh, anyways Really good corn, I'm guessing it was well uh, well over 200. And it was overall a pretty good day. Uh, did get quite a bit done. Had a little of excitement, as you will see coming up later. And of course, a big change of plans. Okay, I'm uh, losing power here and got uh, code 178, which is fuel filters. It started out this morning doing it just once and now it's pretty bad. I can't even hardly get through the field. So, I'm gonna look under the hood here. I've never changed filters on this track. Okay, so let's look under the hood here, see what we got. I'm going to run down to the barn and see if we got filters. And if not, I'll probably go into canyon equipment. So we did not have the filters uh, in the barn, so I had to make a trip up to Canning Equipment in Greenville, Ohio. Of course, uh, they built this store here new and uh, opened it up a few years ago from their old store. Canning Equipment, I don't know how many locations they have in Ohio and Indiana, but quite okay, a few. Thanks. And of course, they had the parts and had to pick up a new blow gun while I was up there. So as I said earlier, I'm just working uh, in a field right behind my house about a half a mile, so when we're this close home i just come home for lunch and my wife made me a philly cheesesteak and some homemade mac and cheese that should get me through till supper time okay so uh ran up to canyon equipment got the new fuel filters put them on and i forgot to get the camera out because i wanted to get the tractor going again and uh it started right up ran fine uh, we'll find out when we go through the field it was only dogging down during a hard pull with the loaded grain cart so we'll find out there and other guys are still eating lunch so i'm gonna grease the grain cart i did not feel like uh crawling down on the frost this morning so i'm gonna knock uh, that out right now okay got the grain cart greased up and we are ready to go weather's nice 55 sunny so should make for a good day tractor seems to be running okay after changing the fuel filters so like i said should be good to go okay i had a little time cleaning the front window and the back window still got the side windows to do but uh that's a lot better we usually carry glass cleaner in here and when you get a minute you clean the windows and Clean windows make all the difference in the world. So I uh, 
changed the fuel filters and when I got the grain cart completely full and I was coming back, it was up a little bit of a grade. I was in 13th gear, shifted to 14th. I got the fuel filter fault code again. So I shifted down to 13, it went away. I made it to the truck, unloaded, and now it seems fine. So I'm not sure what the deal is. Um, a guy I was talking to this morning from a versatile dealer, he was a technician at a John Deere dealer. He knows these tractors pretty good, so he told me what the code was. That's how I knew it was a fuel filter. So I guess, Zach, if you're watching this, I may be texting you again to see what's next. I don't know if there's a fuel line collapsing or what, but uh, anyways, we'll see how it goes. Okay, well there I pulled the grade in 14th gear, uh, about 1900 RPMs just fine with no fuel filter code, so whatever it was, fixed itself. I don't know if, uh, well I don't know. Okay, we're going to bust open another land here. That works out pretty good. Alright, so I got a rider with me here. I got Trevor riding with me, who uh, the farmer that I helped. This is his son. Trevor is 10 years old, and Trevor likes John Deere tractors, and Trevor says when he grows up, he wants to be as good of a grain cart operator as farmhand Mike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he said he'll never be that good, but he hopes to be half as good. <laughs> Anyways, he seems to like riding with me, and I don't know why, but he uh, he rides with me quite a bit. So here he is. Trevor, you're going to be on YouTube. What do you think of that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, you can watch the video tonight. Okay, all kinds of stuff's going on now. I overfilled the truck. Not too bad. And... The combine bent and ends now. Even with auto header height control, stuff still happens. It'll buff out. Okay, so uh, the John Deere dealer here locally does not have the snout up in Greenville, so their store in Rushville, Indiana has it. So uh, one guy's on his way to go get that. Rushville's about 70 miles from here. So we're gonna drop the corn head and we got about 60 acres of beans left down the road here, about a half a mile. So I'm gonna put this uh, corn that's in the grain cart in the one semi. We're going to get rid of the corn in the bin, and we are going to try to run soybeans tonight. So, let's see how that goes.
What was you motion out? The header was full of dirt or the throat? Uh, it's full of corn. I think he must have shut her down. I think this feeder house. All right, we're heading down to the soybean field. We still got to dump the semis, get the corn out of there, and now I'm gonna get to test this uh, rear view camera out on the road, which is what I think I'm really gonna like this for.
I told you that was going to be my uh, last clip a little bit ago, but hey, everything's going good, so why not a nice uh, nighttime shot here of unloading on the go. Uh, soybeans have picked up about a point of moisture, so they're just a tad, tad over 15% right now. saved by the cart operator so actually the guy I work for is running the grain cart tonight he usually runs the com combine and soybeans but uh, we switched off so always good to change it up This was a good thing to do. I've already knocked off 30 acres of this field since I started, so is that much less we have to do tomorrow and then we'll be done with soybeans. So I get home here about 9.30 and wife has supper for me, so homemade meatloaf, homemade mac and cheese, and green bean casserole.